Hey there calendar users, thanks for stopping by. In this video we're going to be going over how to use calendars meeting pole functionality. These meeting poles are going to allow you to create a link that you can send to people outside of your organization or inside of your organization that will allow them to vote on times that you have uh, given them on when to have that meeting. So let's kind of go into it and see what that looks like. As you can see, uh, you can create the meeting poll at the bottom of every scheduling page, so lots of options. Here's that customer success meetings page. Here's an option to create a meeting poll here. Here's our development scheduling page. Here's an option to create the meeting poll here. So let's go into one and see what these meeting polls look like. Okay, so we'll have a title of the meeting poll, right? And let's just say, you know, test meeting is the title. Um, and then here's the link that's already starting to be created. You can edit this last part of the link. The first part is kind of, is set in stone, but this last part here you can create right. Uh, you can edit right here. So let's just edit it down to test. And you can see where that moved that down. Just like creating a regular event or a time slot, you'll pick which calendar you want it to go to. You put your time zone in, how long you want the meeting to be, where you want the meeting to be. Right? You can uh, put remote here and put whatever link you'd like. You can put an in-person meeting, Zoom, Google Meets, Microsoft Teams integration. We'll put Zoom here for this. Um, and I can add hosts. Hosts are going to be people from your workspace. Again, once we create this link, we can send it to anybody for them to vote on and be a part of the meeting. But I can add hosts here from my workspace so that you can see their availability here. It's like we can already see where my availability is being pulled in. Let's say I wanted Steve as, as a part of this meeting. Now Steve's availability has pulled in here. Um, so now when people book on this link uh, or vote uh, vote on this link, they know that they're meeting with me and Steve. So that's a good piece of information. And now I know Steve's availability. So I'm probably not going to select times where I know that he's busy uh, for people to vote on. So let's start picking some possible options for people to vote on. Let's pick Wednesday at 3. Let's pick Thursday at 1.30 or let's do 2. And then Friday at uh, we'll do 1.30 here. There we go. Perfect. So now we have these three options um, that are going to be a part of the link when people vote on it. Last thing I'll do is put a little description down here. Please feel free to vote on a time for this meeting. Okay. And now we're ready. We'll create the meeting poll. And now here's our meeting poll link. This is the link that we're going to be sending to people uh, to vote on times for the meeting and be a part of this meeting. You can kind of see where there's some good next steps here to follow um, and, and how you know, you'll share the link, you can track the votes, you'll schedule the meeting, and now we'll go over all that and see what that looks like on our end. So here's the link, and you can see where we now have this test meeting poll here. It's in the polling stage, not the scheduling stage. Because it's not scheduled yet. It's in the polling stage or the voting stage would be a good uh, good way to, to view it. Um, people are now voting on it. And then when, whenever I want to, um, as the host, I can create the meeting after everybody puts their votes in. So let's click on the link. I'm just going to act like I'm booking um, on my own link here as if somebody sent me this. And now this is what people will see when you send them the link. All right. You know, test meeting, 30 minutes. Feel free to vote on a time. Let's say I'm going to book here at 1.30. That's my vote. And you can vote. Uh, you can vote as many times as you want. Not as many. Sorry, not as many times as you want. But you can vote on as many times um, as you want. So I can vote on three o'clock as well as one thirty. Let's say I voted for both those two. Click next. Put my name in there. My email, and now I have voted. So now my vote is in there and is looked at. So now, as the host, I can go in and if I click this meeting poll. I can see where somebody has voted, right? Somebody voted on 3 o'clock and 1.30. I just voted on my own meeting poll, but this is what it will look like, and this will be filled with everybody who's voting on here. It'll show the top vote up here and then all the other votes here. So then once everybody has voted, or really at any time, the host can create the event. So it looks like well, 3 o'clock and 1.30 um, have the most votes. I'd like to go with 3. So let's say I create the event here at 3. Um, it's going to give me one more chance to add any additional members to uh, to the meeting. And then, boom, I can create the event. Now you can see where it has switched from polling to scheduled because this meeting is now officially scheduled. It's all on the calendar. Um, everybody who's a part of the meeting will get an email um, that says that's on their, uh, that says the meeting. It's on everybody's calendars now. 
um, everybody's good to go. It's going to be at that Zoom link that, that we put in there. Um, and now this meeting is scheduled and you can see where it's not in the, in the polling anymore. It's in the schedule. So that's kind of the general rundown of calendars meeting, uh, meeting poll functionality. The way this differs from the regular time slots, especially is when you have multiple parties involved. If it's just you meeting with one external person, then calendars, just regular time slot links that you're all used to work really well. But let's say I, uh, my organization needs to meet with three other organizations, or there's just a really large group of people who all need a, who all have different schedules and all have different availabilities. This is definitely the way to get that all together where everyone's just clicking on one link and voting on it and booking on it right there. So this uh, is very robust in terms of meeting with multiple people from multiple different organizations. So there you have it. Thanks for stopping by guys. Have a good one.